we're going to go into the last of the basic lessons, lesson number 8. Remember that 9 and 10 are bonus. I'm not going to create a video lesson for them. So I'm going to click on the link. It takes me to the web page that has them all. Let's scroll on down to 8. And we're going to make something like this. Ours isn't going to be near as fancy as the example, simply because uh, I don't have that much time to demo here. Okay, one. I'm going to use this photo. Okay, I can do that. Take the photo, drag it and drop it into Photoshop. You know how to do that by now. Now it says to go and delete the existing swatches. So what we're going to do, and I follow, if I read, it says hold the Alt key and click on it. So I'm going to make them all go away so that it's empty. Then I'm going to go pick eyedropper, and I'm going to zoom in and pick different colors. Pick the color, go slide 2, what does it tell me to do next? And then I'm going to save it over in the swatches by the different colors accordingly. Now here they have selected about 10 or 12. We're only going to have time to select 3, simply because we are in a very quick time frame here. And then we're going to save by clicking on the little arrow next to it, saving the swatches. We're not going to save them to the computer, we're going to save them to our U drive, so that you have access to them whenever you might need them. Reset so that they're held back, and then we load them. Go in, replace, pull the autumn leaves in, pick the right colors, and we're going to draw some little leaves. And we'll put a little quick poem in. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's pull this over, maximize. All right, number one, it says to delete your swatches. Normally, it defaults here to color. Here's my swatches, styles, so forth. So I'm going to go to swatches. I'll hold the Alt key down on my keyboard, and I am just going to start clicking like crazy because I need to get rid of all of them. Click, 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 click. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want them all here. Why would you need to make custom swatches? Because there's already so many colors here. If I'm working for a customer and they give me a very specific logo or color to address, etc., and they want the colors to match perfectly, if I create my color swatches off of the graphic or the picture given to me by the customer, it will be perfect. Okay, so we come over here and we go find our eyedropper. There's our eyedropper. We're going to go zoom in just so we can see a little better. So let's pick here. Eyedropper again. Darn, I always forget where it's at. There it is. Click with my mouse over here in the corner. And yellow. Oh, let's pick another. We'll call this one brown. Maybe I can find a pretty purple. Purple. Here's kind of a green. And remember, I don't have that much time, so I'm just going to stick to that. So I have that done. I'm going to click on the down arrow. I'm going to go to Save Swatches. I'm going to save to my computer, my U drive, my folder, Autumn Leaves, Save. Now, once I've done that, that means I have it here for me to use, because now I'm going to exit out. Let me start with me a new one. And we can say, maybe you've come in the next day after you've made your swatches, and you have this, and you don't have the colors you need. Down arrow, load swatches, switch swatches. There's different things you can do. I usually just load the swatches. I go find my folder, my autumn leaves. Here's those colors I want. So let's say I want yellow. Here's how you get your lovely little leaves. Go to your brush tools. If you click here, you can pick different brush tools. I want to go into, I believe it was a special effect brush. There it is, autumn leaf. I want to change the size of it to smaller. And I just randomly draw some on here. -la 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 -la. And then I pick a different color. Repeat the process, yada, 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 yada. We keep going. Now, I go to text. Uh, say I want it to be purple in text. You take your time. You can do a little more. I'm running out of time here. I'm going to say swatches poem. Oops. So we already know Miss Baxter sometimes cannot type. We could change different colors, fonts, and so forth, and we put it in there. I mean, you just draw some leaves, different colored leaves, different sizes if you really want to get fancy. Put some little poem to it, I don't care, whatever it is. And then do a file, save as, my computer, your U drive, TS1, lesson 8, 